choose life, choose a job, choose a career, choose a family, choose a fucking big television, choose washing machines, cars, compact displays and electrical tin openers. Choose good health, low cholesterol and dental insurance. Choose fixed interest mortgage repayments. Choose a starter home. Choose your friends. Choose leisure wear and matching luggage. Choose a three-piece suite on higher purchase and a range of fucking fabrics. Choose DIY and wondering who the fuck you are on a Sunday morning. Choose sitting on that couch watching mind-numbing, spirit-crushing game shows, stuffing fucking junk food into your mouth. Ah. Choose rotting away at the end of it all, pissing your last in a miserable hole, nothing more than an embarrassment to the selfish, fucked up brats that you've spawned to replace yourselves. Choose your future. Choose life. <clears throat> but why would I want to do a thing like that? I chose not to choose life. I chose something else. And the reasons? There are no reasons. Who needs reasons when you've got heroin? <laughs> Goldfinger's better than Dr. No. Both of them are a lot better than Diamonds of Forever. Our judgement reflected in its relatively poor showing at the box office. In which field, of course, Thunderball was a notable success. People think it's all about misery and desperation and death and all that shite, which is not to be ignored. Fuck off! You're a cunt! But what they forget is the pleasure of it. You're all dead, we <laughs> You prick! Otherwise, we wouldn't do it. Pure as the devil slow that shit down. <laughs> After all, we're not fucking stupid. Or at least we're not that fucking stupid. <sighs> Take the best orgasm you ever had. Multiply it by a thousand and there's still nowhere near it. Beats any meat injection. That beats any fucking cock in the world. When you're on junk, you've only one worry, scoring. And when you're off it, you're suddenly obliged to worry about all sorts of other shite. Got no money, can't get pissed. Got money, drinking too much. Can't get a bug, no chance of a ride. Got a bug, too much hassle. You have to worry about bills, about food, about some football team that never fucking wins, about human relationships, and all the things that really don't matter when you've got a sincere and truthful junk habit. I'd say in those days he was a muscular actor. With all the presence of someone like Cooper or Lancaster that combined with a sly wit to make him a formidable romantic lead. Closer in that respect to Cary Grant. Ah. Mm. <laughs> the only drawback, or at least the principal drawback, is that you have to endure all manner of cunts telling you that no way would I poison my body where I should. All these fucking chemicals. No fucking way. It's a waste of your life, Mark. Poisoning your body with that shit. Every chance you've had, son, you've blown it. Stuffing your veins with that filth. From time to time, even I have uttered the magic words. Again, Swanee, I'm off the skag. Are you serious? Yeah. 
No more, I'm finished with that shite. Well, that's up to you, man. I'm gonna do it right this time, gonna get it sorted out, get off it for good. I sure I've heard that one before. The sick boy method. Oh, they really work for him, eh? Well, he's always been lacking in moral fibre. He knows a lot about Sean Connery. That's hardly a substitute. You need one more hit? No, I don't think so. A long name to the head. We called him Mother Superior on account of the length of his habit. Of course I'd have another shot. After all, I had work to do.